Um, okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. My name is Kate. I'm so happy y'all are all here. This is my dog, Remy. Um, hopefully he doesn't bark anymore, but maybe he will. That's okay. I see some other pups are joining, so um, that's great. And yeah, for those of you that don't know, Small World Yoga is a donation-based studio and all of the proceeds go back into the community of us taking yoga out um, into Nashville. Right now, your donations are going to make sure we get our teachers paid and then also still going into the organization. Leah, who's on here, is in charge of all the schools and they're working with um, communities to get yoga to them virtually. So we're recording some classes, we're gonna send out to our communities. And so yeah, so that's where your um, donation is going if you choose to make a donation. And I'll be putting in the chat box the way that you can make a donation. It's through Small World Venmo or the Small World Kindful account. So anyways, um, let's everyone just come up to your screen for a minute. And we're just gonna do a little, if your video's off, that's fine. Um, but just wave and say hi to everybody. Hello, hi Martha. Hi. Hi everybody. Yeah, creating community. We're all here together from near and far um, here in Nashville and then in Arkansas and in Ohio. So really glad we're all here. So um, yeah, let's get started in Child's Pose. And then you can take your knees either wide on your mat or in together. And then we'll take a few deep breaths together here. Take a breath in and a breath out. Four more breaths. Inhale. Open your mouth. Exhale. More like that. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, empty. And then walk your hands out to the right. So take your right hand off your mat. Take your left hand over either next to it or on top of it. And let your head rest towards the mat. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale out. Last one, breathe in. Breathe out. Walk your hands back to center. Take your left hand out to the left, right hand next to it or on top of it. Take three breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, breathe in. Breathe out, walk your hands back to center, rest your forehead on the mat, and then rock your head side to side. Continuing with your breath here, rocking side to side, giving your forehead a massage, eyebrows a massage. And take one more breath in, breath out, come up into all fours. We'll pop position here. And then we'll take a few rounds of cat cow. So inhale, cow, pull your chest forward, push your hips to the sky. Exhale, cat, round your back, pull your chin. Inhale through cow. Exhale the cat. Take this three more times on your own breath. Inhale, pull through. Exhale, press back. Two more times. Last time, inhale through for cow. Exhale back for cat, and then press your hips back to child's pose. Take a breath in, breath out, and then inhale, come up into all fours and come into cow, breathe in. Exhale, come into cat, and then press your hips back to child's pose. Inhale, come up. All fours into cow. 
Exhale, round your back, press your hips back, child's pose. Three more times like this on your own breath. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Two more times. And last one, breathe and come forward, cow. Round your back for cat, down, and then press back to downward facing dog. And take a moment here, walk your dog, bend your knees. Yeah, and then find some stillness in your down dog. Press your hips up to the sky and press into your hands. Let's take three breaths here together. Breathe in. Exhale out. Breath in. Breath out. Last one, inhale, fill up. Exhale, empty your lungs. And then walk your feet to your hands at the top of your mouth. Ragdoll. Let your head hang heavy. Grab your elbows. Stay side to side. Press your feet down to the mat. Press through your big toes and press through your heels. And shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes again. Then drop your hands to the mat. Breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Extend the mountain, rise all the way up, reach your fingers to the sky, and breathe in. And steer hard. And we'll start class with the sound of two ohms together. You can ohm or just listen in. Take a breath in. Uh, Lift, inhale. Full forward, exhale. 
extend your mountain, rise up, breathe in. Grab your right wrist with your left hand, and then hinge over to the left. Okay, we're gonna do both sides, so it really doesn't matter which side you're doing first. And then to make it a little more intense, you can take your eye gaze up to the sky. And take three breaths, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, last one, breathe in, breathe out, inhale back to center, reach your arms up, switch your grip, grab your left wrist, right hand, and hand over to the right. Breathe in, breathe out, look up to the ceiling, make it a little more intense, about feels like in your neck. Two more breaths in and out. Last one, breathe in, breathe out, come back to center, and you'll reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Step back to high plank, either hold here, take modified chaturanga, lower to your knees, hug your elbows in, lower to your chin, your chest, up dog or cobra. Now we're facing dog. Three breaths here. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, empty. And walk your feet to your hands. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Full, breathe out. Extend the mountain. Rise up. Breathe in. Grab your right wrist, hand over to the left, exhale. Inhale back to center. Switch sides, exhale. Inhale back to center. Switch sides, exhale to the left. Inhale to the middle. Exhale to the right. Breathe in, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Step back to high plank, lower to your knees, your chin, and your calves. Up dog, your cobra, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Two breaths here, inhale, exhale. One more, breathe in. Breathe out, walk your feet to your hands. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Extend the mountain, rise up. Grab your right wrist, hinge to the left, exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale, hinge to the right. Inhale, center. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Modified chatter, I'm gonna breathe out. Knees, chin, press. Up dog, cobra. Now we're facing dog. Take three breaths here. Hi, everybody. How are y'all doing? Good. And take your right foot to the sky. And bend your knee, open your hip. Pull your knee up to the ceiling. Flex to your foot. And take some ankle circles. And then take it the other way. And then take some hip circles, moving your knee around, get into your hip. And then take it the other way on these circles. And then take your right foot up to the sky, flex to your foot. Low lunge, step your right foot through in between your hands. Lower your back knee to the mat. Yeah, this is getting into your hips. If you've been sitting a lot, being at home, this might feel like a lot of sensation. I know this for me. So here, take your fingertips and pull your chest through to the front of your mat. Take a breath in. Exhale, straighten your front leg, pull your hips through the back of your mat. Take a couple breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Play with flexing your foot and then pointing your foot. Just notice the different sensations. Take another breath in. 
breath out. Inhale, come forward, pull your chest to the mat. Exhale, go back, press your hips up. Take a few more of these. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. And play with flexing and pointing your foot. Take three more with your own breath. And then meet back in low lunge, chest towards the front of the room. And then plant your left hand, reach your right arm to the sky, take a twist. Three breaths here, inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, twist your heart to the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out and twist. Last one, breathe in. Twist as you breathe out, come back to center, and then bring your hands up to your heart. And then twist to the right. So you can take your left elbow on the outside of your right knee, get a little point there to push into the twist. Yeah, and then if you feel ready for it, tuck your back toes and press into a crescent lunge twist. Also totally cool to stay with your knee on the mat, that's how I'm going to stay today. Take three breaths, breathe in, press your hands together, twist. Breath in, twist as you breathe out. The last one here, breathe in, breathe out and twist. Come back through the center, reach your arms up to the sky, inhale. Frame your front foot, step back to high plank. Lower your knees, your chin, your chest. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Take your left leg to the sky. Bend your knee, open your hip. Flex to your left foot and take some hips, take some ankle circles. And then reverse your circle. I one way feels more awkward than the other. Then take some hip circles here with your knee. And getting into those hips, sitting a lot. And then reverse the direction. And then take your left leg to the sky, flex your foot, low lunge left side. Step your left foot through and between your hands. And pull your chest forward, take your fingertips. Take a few breaths here just to get into your hips. Your hips are definitely talking to me this morning. And then take a breath in. Exhale back, pull your hips back, straighten your front leg. And here play with flexing your foot and pointing your foot, toes to the mat. When I point my toes, I really feel it in my shins. If you're a runner, that might feel really good. Take another breath in. Breath out. Come forward, pull your chest forward, breathe in. Exhale, straighten your front leg, press your hips back. Inhale, pull your chest forward. Exhale, push your hips back. Take three more of these on your own breath. Taking your third one, meet forward, plant your right hand, reach your left arm up to the sky, twist. Reach your left fingertips up, breathe in. Pull your chest towards the ceiling, breathe out. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Come back to center. Bring your hands up to your heart. And then twist to the left. Same thing here. Option to come up into crescent lunge twist. Tuck your back toes or stay right here on your knee. Take three breaths together. Inhale. 
exhale it out. Pull the crown of your head high, up, inhale, exhale, twist. Last one here, breathe in. Twist your deepest twist, exhale. Come back to center, high plank. Modify chaturanga, knees, chin, chest, up dog, breathe in, down dog, breathe out. Take three breaths here. Press your hands into the mat. Press your hips to the sky. Take one more breath in. Breathe out. Walk your hands to your feet at the back of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Pull forward, exhale. Extend it out and rise up, reach to the ceiling or to the sky if you're outside. Hands to your heart. We're gonna do some standing postures here. So eagle on the right. Keep your right arm under, left arm over. This is a perfect place to stay, grabbing for your shoulder blades or come into the arm twist. Press your palms together. Take your right knee up and over your left. Squeeze everything in the center. Squeeze your thighs together. Squeeze your arms together. Take two more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more, inhale, exhale, and release. Take it out, and take it on the left. Left under, right over. You can grab your shoulders or both for the bind with your hands. Press your knees together, left leg over. And then pull your shoulders to the back of your mat like you're sitting into a little straight back chair. Another option is to place your foot towards the mat with kickstand. Help with your balance. Then play with your toes up. Take a breath in. Breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale. And release. Shake it out a little bit. Nice, Lydia. Nice, Mom. Okay. Come to the back of your mat. Take your right knee into your chest. So create a right angle with your knee and with your flex toes. With your left arm out, standing leg raise on the right. Roll your right knee open. And play with taking your eye gaze over your left thumb. Pull your low belly in and up. Reach the crown of your head to the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath in. Breath out. Come back to center. Kick your right foot up in front of you. Reach your right arm to the sky. Flex to your right foot. Kick it up higher. A little bit higher. And step forward onto your right foot. Airplane. Sweep your arms back. Take your left leg up. Here it really does not matter how high your left leg is. Just engage your leg, flex through your toes, active through your hands like you're pressing down. Take three breaths, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, stay. Last one, breathe in. Kick your foot off the back wall, breathe out, and release. Just shake it out a little bit. Okay, then take standing leg raise on the left. You can also grab your left toes here. You have some open hamstrings. Take your right arm out, open up. And play with your eye gaze or your wrist. Take it over your right thumb. Take three breaths here. Breathe in, breathe out. Pull the crown of your head up, inhale, exhale. Last one, breathe in, breathe out. Come back through center, kick your left foot up to the sky. Reach your arms towards the ceiling. Flex your toes back to your foot, that it makes sense. Flex your toes back to your shin and step forward. Nice. 
And then again, flex through your right toes. Active through your hands. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, stay. Last one, breathe in. Breathe out, then step to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. And then take your feet about hip width distance. Place your right hand in between your feet. You can take your fingertips. Bend into your right knee, then reach your left arm to the sky. We'll take three breaths here. Breathe in, reach your left arm up. Exhale, twist over. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, breathe in. Breathe out, full forward, switch sides. Left hand between your finger, between your feet. Bend into your left knee, reach your right arm to the sky. Three breaths, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, breathe in. Breathe out. And then come back to center. Place your right hand down, lift your left arm up. One breath here. Breathe in. Exhale, switch sides. Left hand down, bend into your left knee, right arm up. Breathe in. Switch sides, exhale, right down, left up. Breathe in. Exhale, switch. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right arm down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left arm down. Inhale, right. Exhale, down. Last set here. Breathe in. Inhale, left up. Switch sides. Inhale, right up. And then exhale, fold forward. Fingers to toes, forward fold. Grab your big toes with your first two fingers, and then pull your chest down to your thighs. You can bend your knees as much as you need to here. And then let your elbows go out towards the sides of your mat like chicken wings. Take me hungry for lunch. <laughs> let the crown of your head drop towards your mat. Yeah, and just breathe here deep and free. Hope it feels good, sway a little bit side to side. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes again. Palms to toes, forward fold. Stand on your hands. Again, bend your knees as much as you need to here to get your hands underneath your feet. And I like to bend my knees so much that my toes come up to my ankle crease. And then I give my hands a little massage with my toes. It's one of my favorite things to do in class. Move um, your toes around, give yourself a little hand massage. Let your head drop. Take a breath in. Breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands, come to a halfway lift, breathe in. Step back to high plank, either hold here, come to knees, chin and chest, all the way down. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Warrior one, right side. Step your right foot through, rise up into warrior one. And reach your fingertips to the sky and pull your shoulders up to your ears and then melt your shoulders down your back. Take a breath in. Breath out. One more inhale. Exhale. Open up to warrior two. So the legs are on a one-way street. Your front heel aligns with your back ankle. And bend 90 degrees into your front knee. Breathe in. 
breathe out. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale. Last one here, breathe in, breathe out. Reverse your warrior, flip your palm, take your right hand back, straighten your front knee, come into triangle. You can place your hand on your shin and bring a slight bend into your knee. Reach your arm up, left arm to the ceiling, two breaths, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, come up through center, pivot both your toes towards the side of your mat, and then bring your hands interlace us, yeah, so let your head hang heavy. You can take whatever arm variation you want. We have been doing clasp hands, I think, hands over your head for shoulder vents. Yeah, so just be here, let your head hang. Press into your feet. Pull your hips over your ankles. Nice, take a few breaths here. Great. And then come back up through center. Pivot towards the front of your mat, pyramid on the right. Take your feet wide and close, about two feet apart. Fold over your right leg. Breathe in. Hinge forward over your right leg, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, fold. The last one here, breathe in, breathe out, and then plant your hands onto the mat. Step back to high plank, take a modified chaturanga. Knees, chin, chest, up dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Warrior one on the left. Press down into your feet. Press to the outer edge of your back foot. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> we had a little technical difficulty here. Take another breath in. Breathe out. Pull your shoulders up to your ears. Breathe in. Then melt your shoulders down your back. Breathe out. Open up to warrior two. Take a couple breaths here, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, reverse your warrior, pull your right left hand back, triangle, straighten your front leg, hand to your shin, reach up to the sky. Two breaths, breathe in, breathe out, one more, inhale, Exhale, come up through center, side facing wide leg forward fold, pivot your toes towards the side of your mat and hinge forward. And try on a different arm variation here. You could grab your ankles, you could walk your hands in between your legs towards the side, other side of your mat, pull your chest down. Or you could take your hands, wrap behind, your calves and pull your chest down that way. So let your head hang heavy here. Take three more breaths. Last one, breathe in, breathe out. Come back up, pyramid on the left, left foot forward, right foot out to the side, and then hinge over your left leg. Take three breaths, breathe in. Exhale, pull your chest to your thigh. Two more, breathe in, 
Breathe out. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Step back to high plank. Stay here, lower to your knees, chin, chest. Up dog, breathe in. Come to child's pose, breathe out. Take three deep breaths here. Breathe in. Open your mouth, side out. Take two more like that. Inhale. Let something go. Exhale. Last one, breathe in. Exhale out of the mouth. And then come up into all fours. Make your way onto your bum. And then we're gonna come into three bridges. So lie all the way down onto your back. Take your feet flat on the mat and reach your arms down. A good spot is where your fingertips touch your heels. And if you have wheel in your practice, you're welcome to take that. But I'm gonna call bridge for this practice. So rise up into bridge. Press your hips to the sky. Press down through your feet. Then wiggle walk your shoulders underneath your back. Three breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, stay. Last one, breathe in. Lower to the mat, breathe out. Take a breath in. Breath out. Rise up into bridge. Rest to your feet, lift your hips up. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, inhale. Lower to the mat. Take a breath in. Breath out. Last bridge here, rise up for three breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out, press through your big toes, inhale. Exhale, stay. Last one, breathe in, push your hips an inch higher, lower down to your mat. Windshield wiper your knees side to side. And then come to happy baby. Grab the outside edges of your feet. Pull your knees down into your armpits. You can rock a little bit side to side. Letting your whole back here rest down onto the mat. Actually, press it down into the mat. Press your back into the mat. And then hug your knees into your chest. And then rock and roll up and down your mat. Get a nice little rock and roll here. It always makes me think of roly polies. <laughs> and then make your way into a seat. And take your left leg out in front of you. Hug your right knee into your chest. And plant your right foot on the outside of your left knee. This is a perfect place to stay. Or come into the twist. Take your right hand behind you. Left arm reach up. And then you could hug your knee here, twist. Or place your left elbow on the outside of your right knee. And twist open. Breathe in. Exhale and twist. Take a breath in. Breath out. Two more, inhale, exhale, twist. Last one, breathe in, twist as you breathe out. Come back to your center. Take your legs down in front of you. Pull your left knee into your chest. Plant your left foot on the outside of your right knee. You can stay right here or take the twist. Left hand behind you, right arm lift up. And then hug your right knee or take your right elbow on the outside of your left knee. Four breaths here. 
three more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. And come back to center. Hug both your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then we're going to come into half pigeon. So you could take half pigeon lying down. If you have any knee issues, you can take recline half pigeon, which is like a recline figure four. Right leg over your left knee, bend to both your knees. We we'll just come into whatever feels good for you today. And then here, as we're finding some more stillness, come back into your breath. Use your breath as a means to ground you down into this space, into this moment. And imagine your breath flowing in, filling up your lungs all the way down to the bottom of your lungs. And exhale, flowing back out, up, back out. Take a few more breaths here. Breaths on this side. Make your way up to a seat. Come to double pigeon. So your legs are going to be like Lincoln logs. Those at the top of your mat. So your left leg parallel to the mat, right leg on top, parallel to the left. Your right ankle on the outside of your left. So I feel a lot of sensation in the toes of my hips. And sometimes you might be up here, it depends on the day where it is. So just let it be wherever it is. And send your breath down into your hips. If you want more sensation, you can start to move forward. Pull your chest down towards your legs. 
root down through both of your hips. Rest your hips and come up. Breathe into the uncomfortable sensation here. Take two more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. And then switch sides. You can do a little flash dance kick. I like to do. And then come into it. On the other side. And flex your feet here to protect your knee joints. This is also a great place if you have a pillow near you to put a pillow under your right left knee right here to bridge that gap. Stay here for a few more breaths. Two more breaths together. Breathe in. Exhale out. Last one here. Breathe in. Breathe out. And take both of your legs out in front of you. Yes, shake your legs out. And see a single leg extension. Take your right foot to the right corner of your mat. Left leg bends in. Reach up, breathe in, and go over your right leg, breathe out. If you don't reach your feet, that's totally fine. You can also bend your knees as much as you need to here. Two more breaths together. Inhale, pull the front of your head forward. Exhale, hinge a little bit deeper. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, inhale. Exhale, switch sides. Left leg long, right leg in. Reach up, breathe in. Hold for, breathe out. Again, bend your knees as much as you need to here. You can grab your calf or your foot, whatever is available to you. Press down through both of your hip bones. Take two more breaths together. Inhale, exhale. Two more, breathe in, pull the front of your head forward. Exhale, pull your chest to your thigh. Last one, breathe in. Breathe out. Come up to a seat. Take both of your legs out in front of you, seated forward fold. And bend your knees as much as you need to here again. Reach up. And then exhale, fold over your legs. And today, Bring your knees as much as you need to put your chest down onto your thighs. And then take your arms underneath your thighs and wrap yourself in a hug. Pull your chest down through your thighs. Pull your arms into your chest. Take a few more breaths. One. Breathe in, breathe out, and then come onto your back. You can take an immersion of your choice. Today, I'm going to leave waterfall. You can take your legs up to 90 degrees. Flex to your feet. Also, if you're near something, you can take your legs up that way. Just press it. And 
flex through your feet here. Notice if there's anywhere that you're holding on tension. I typically hold on to tension in my jaw. So let your jaw slacken. And take your arms out to the T. Let your shoulders get heavy on the ground. If it feels good, gently close your eyes here. Just let everything get really heavy on the Back softer. Eyeballs grow heavy in your sockets. Take a couple more breaths here. And make your way back onto your mat. Let's do fine twist on the right. Hug your right knee in. Straighten your left leg long. And then pull your right knee over your left. Reach the right arm out to a T. Keep your gaze over your right thumb. Again, notice where you're holding on this and Maybe in that left shoulder, if you're pulling your right hand down. Can you just relax that left shoulder? Let that right knee be where it is. Two more breaths. Come back into the center. Hug your right knee. Squeeze it in, take your armpit, and then switch sides. Hug your left knee in and take it over to the right. Left arm comes out, gaze over your left. Make your hands soften here. Relax your right hand, relax your right shoulder. Let that, let that left leg just be where it is. Don't force yourself into your steps. Put your left knee back into your chest. Give it a squeeze. We come into Sikh Tabata Konasana, soles of your feet touch, knees out wide, one hand on your heart, other on your low belly. Lower your heartbeat here. Feel your chest and your belly rise and fall as you breathe your all back down. And gently close your eyes here and have a good swim. We'll do a breathing exercise together here. And a breathe in for four, hold for two, and breathe out for four. So empty your lungs, breathe in for one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, four, three, two, Breathe in one, two, three, 
four, hold for one, two, exhale, four, three, two, one. You can continue that breath. Breathe in for four, hold at the top for two, and exhale it out for three. And then release to Shavasana, final rest. Tighten your legs, stay long, arms out beside you. There's nothing left to do here, but just to be. Any thoughts here to be like? And then start to bring gentle movements into your fingers and your toes. Into your wrists and your ankles. And take a big full body stretch, reach your arms overhead. And gently roll onto your right or left side. Hug your knees into your chest. Just take a moment of gratitude for your body and all that it's capable of, for this community near and far. Make your way to a seat at the top of your mat. Your hands into your heart and on your mudra, your center. Keep your eyes closed here if that feels okay. And we'll close with one foam together as a community. Breathe in. Comes to your third eye center. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining. Give yourselves some hands. Yeah. Great. Thanks, guys. Um, I'm going to put the links in here that you can use to donate to Small World if you'd like. Just for reference, a normal class at the studio is $5. So, really, anything is appreciated. I just press sent on that. And um, yeah, I'll be here for a few minutes if you have any questions. Um, we have some other uh, classes coming up. And I meant to look this at this before, but I'm going to do it now. Let's see. Power flow today at 430. And I'm not sure about the rest of the week. Oh, there's a meditation with Leah tomorrow at 10 a.m. And then check our Instagram for more classes coming up. And thank you all so much. It was so great to see you guys and um, be together, even if it's virtually. So, And you can unmute yourself if you have any questions. Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, everybody. See ya. How do I leave? <laughs> Sarah, is that you? <laughs>